Trending with the Tribune presents part three with the Chancellor of Vanderbilt University, Nicholas Zeppo. Now this is a footnote for many viewers here who would say that, what is he talking about? Briefly tell people what the Marshall Plan is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the Marshall Plan is, um, and uh, you know, after World War II, you know, Europe was, you know, greatly decimated in the economy and the infrastructure. And, you know, we were in a situation where, you know, if you really read the history of Europe at the time, of, you know, we we're talking about the communism and the Cold War, you know, after World War One, Two, and the fascist movement, you know, people were kind of saying, maybe the solution comes from a different direction. Mm -hmm. And so America is sitting there and saying, we better rebuild Greece, Germany, France, Italy, the Netherlands, you know, this could really go bad. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, I remember my relatives came over about 100 years, 120 years ago, I don't know, from Greece. Greece had a terrible civil war. In the middle of World War II, the communists and the royalists were killing themselves, I think almost as much as they were fighting the Nazis. Uh, and so it's a terrible civil war that continues. And so America said, you know what we're going to do? We are going to invest in infrastructure, industry, the institutions. We're going to rebuild those institutions. I mean, can you imagine the justice institutions in Nazi Germany at the, to go in there, or even France with the collaboration, or Italy? It's like, so it was a full-blown, all-hands-on-deck, financial, moral investment into Europe. And it was expensive, but I think it, you know, the Germany we know, I mean, I think one of the most amazing things is the Germany we know today as, you know, here's uh, Angela Merkel, who's like the voice of, you know, kind of humanitarian, you know, kind of globalism and, you know, a caring, non-militaristic. You know, I was born 10 years after the end of World War II. Yeah. So, boy, that must have been a pretty good investment because Europe has pretty much stayed without a war since then. Yeah. So I think it's got to be a full-blown financial, moral, strategic commitment to education like we did for Europe after World War II. When, when you go back to school this coming year, do you plan to teach at risk at all? Um, I'm looking to maybe teach again in the spring. Um, I, Alice is on leave. You know, I taught with Alice Randall. Mm -hmm. Alice and I were the uh, co-teachers, and so Alice is on leave. So, you know, I'm thinking of doing another course, and I would do it jointly between Fisk and Vanderbilt. I have wanted to do a course on, um, I'm a lawyer, so I want to do a course on American cinema and race and law. Because I'm always fascinating about how, how does the movie portray law and race in America. I mean, you just go back to Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah. And, you know, how, how, so, so that's a course I'm kind of toying with. Um, but I expect to be, if they'll have me back at Fisk, I'll certainly do it. It was joyful. I met today with a, a Fisk student. Um, and she's interested in going to law school. She's brilliant. I mean, she's just incredibly gifted. Um, her writing was like, it was like reading, you know, Hamilton, and she was outwriting Hamilton in my Federalist Papers class. Wow. And so, you know, and she said, well, you know, so, you know, so nice to do this, be a mentor. I was like, I'm on this journey of joy with you. You're, you're letting me do this. So if I'll have me back, I'll, I'll be over there teaching. Um, I don't know if it will be next semester or semester after, but yeah, I would, um, you know, I've I, I really enjoyed it, and I think it's important for us to get out of our space, Reginald. I mean, you know, that's, look at your career. You know, it's like, all right, how do I stretch myself? We're out of space every day, true. Yeah, 
and people in Tulsa. And and so, you know, I, I, I kind of want to get out and teach at other places and, you know, learn about things that I, you know, I just don't learn about sitting in a nice big office. So, um, yeah, I think there'll be more things ahead for me. Um, and I hope I do a good enough job that I get invited back. Wow. That's a toast. Chancellor Zeppos, thank you very much for joining us. My and, privilege, Reggie. And we'll, we'll do it again sometime yeah, soon. Hopefully I invite it back. And let's hope that uh, this works for our viewers out there and listeners.